What's going on you guys? This is a Max Kid. You have another Apple Mac Mini. This is the late 2014. I'm going to down, switch to the back side. And you just need a, either a credit card. And I'm going to move the back plastic. To do that, you just have to go around with the, with the credit card to remove it. So just this holds by this plastic, it's got one that's hold by one, two, and actually three. See, like right here, bigger screws here it's using. And using the T6H. And this is connected to the wireless. So what you're gonna do is take a screwdriver, uh, the Torx, and I'm using it to look at the other one. It's uh, using the same T6H. So I'm going to start removing the fan, cooler, and to do that, there's a, it's connected to the motherboard. So I'm just going to probably use the, this little plastic to remove it. And there's a screw here that holds the wireless if you want to remove it. It's not a T6H, it's a lot smaller. And that one it looks like, I have to see, it's, uh, it's a T3. Let me look at it. No, not a T3. Let me see the other one they have. It's a T4. Let me try out. Yeah, so it's a remove the wireless is a T4. Using the Torx, So now guys, I'm gonna go and start off. You're gonna remove the one, the power supply. Don't forget the cable, there's a cable connected, uh, either hard drive or SSL state drive right here, the connector.
and there's one screw here in the corner, the top right corner that you have to remove. It's from the for the motherboard. Let's hold the motherboard, and it's going to be longer one. And I'm gonna go ahead and try to pull the motherboard out. Before you do that, you just have to. What I will do is you're gonna pull the motherboard out just like a small amount, then before you're gonna pull the cable for the power supply here in the corner, left corner. They sell this little tool that you install, a little pen that you install it to pull it, but I can just use uh, two mini. Screwdrivers like this, I can just use them both like that and just pull it. Before you pull the motherboard out, you have to disconnect the cable in the left corner. Can't even see really well, so I'm just gonna Try to use <clears throat> I have to use the other screwdriver and try to get a mini try to get a mini head, mini flat head. I've got this other screwdriver, so I'm gonna use a smaller one. Because I have to yeah, this one should work. It's fine. So I already did remove the cable. This is for the power supply here in the corner. Then you're gonna motherboard slides gently like this. Now you have to do is remove the pin here for the power supply. And it's got a little clip that you have to remove. It slides to the left right here, this little pin. You have to use, uh, I'll try which one. I think it's this one. Let's see. So it's a T6H again. You have to remove the one screw here in the corner. And you're going to twist this uh, like this. And the power supply should come out.
and be the last part is removing the hard uh, it's got a solid state drive in here and there's one another screw here in the side corner top that you have to remove and it just it will slides out like this comes out and I do have a solid state drive install here Samsung it's actually using not a it's not a T6H it's a little bit bigger so I'm going to show you which size it's a uh, if it's a TH, I'm gonna have to look at it. So I'm gonna see. So this is T6H, T8. And look at this one. So yeah, it's using the TH to remove the hard drives or a solid state drive, the two screws on each side. And it just comes out like this and before you remove that the the back so it's got a sticker on it so you have to take a either razor blade I'm gonna take this and you have to remove the back tape before you remove the from the sole stay draw like this it's got a sticker in the back and she comes out like this it disconnects so guys this will be the end of the video thanks for watching bye